Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I've posted previously, the closer we get to the Windows 10 end of life or end of support, that Microsoft is working on integrating a migration tool into the Windows Backup app. And the first traces of this migration tool have already appeared in the Backup app on Windows 11 24H2. It's not fully functional yet, which is called Transfer to a New PC. And if we click Next, as I've mentioned in previous videos, Microsoft says currently in the stable version, this feature is in user testing stage, full version coming soon. So it's not fully functional yet in the stable release of Windows 11, as mentioned. Now, just to let you know that the new file transfer feature is now available for Windows Insiders. And it seems to be working correctly in the Insider program. And Microsoft has published a support document and explained how the new feature will work. So just a quick kind of walkthrough on how you would transfer files and settings using this tool from one PC to another. And according to Microsoft, from the announcement of this feature in the Insider program, Microsoft says that this means that you can start using your new PC with all your file settings and preferences intact. Now, if you are asking the question, what is transferred, according to Microsoft, all your files, that would be your documents, photos, videos, and so on, and your settings and preferences. And what isn't transferred is system and OS files, like your program files, as an example. OneDrive files won't be transferred. Applications installed on your previous PC won't be transferred. Your saved passwords and sign-in credentials won't be transferred. And drives encrypted with BitLocker will not be transferred either. Now, Microsoft mentions that the requirements are that the previous PC can run Windows 10 or Windows 11, while the new PC must run Windows 11 version 24H2 or later. And just take note, ARM-based devices are currently not supported, according to Microsoft. Now, how this all works, uh, just to go through this step by step. So, Microsoft mentions that you must make sure that your PCs are connected to the same Wi-Fi or LAN network. And to help avoid interruptions, they do recommend plugging in both PCs to a power source and ensuring your previous PC is also up to date. So then what you would do is you would open the backup app. And in the Windows backup app, you would then select transfer information to a new PC to begin pairing. And in the Windows Backup app on your previous PC, you'll see the PC's name that you must enter on the new PC. So as an example here, if we just zoom in, Desktop Surface 7. So that's just a brief example of what that's all about. And then on your new PC, Microsoft says, you'll see a one-time code which must be entered in the Windows Backup app on your previous PC. And Microsoft says that after this, the devices will be securely paired after verification. And after that, when you click Next, Microsoft says that a list of files and folders available for transfer appears, and you can use the drop-down menu to adjust your selection and choose the items to bring over. Now, just take note, it's also mentioned that if the new PC has less storage space than the previous one, some files or folders must be deselected to fit within the available space before proceeding, and I think that kind of goes without saying. And then what you would do is you would click on Start Transfer. And once the transfer is complete, you'll receive a summary of what has been transferred, says Microsoft. The remaining setup experience will continue as usual. And something else to take note of that if the transfer is interrupted due to a network issue or any other reason, Windows automatically tries to resume the transfer for you, says Microsoft. If Windows is unable to resume the transfer, you can restart the transfer. Now, obviously, this will also depend how long this takes. This will depend on your bandwidth, your connection speed. So just take that into consideration. So if you are transferring large files and folders, then I think you could be in for a bit of a long haul. But nonetheless, that's just a quick overview as to how this is all going to work according to Microsoft. And as mentioned, the new file transfer is available for Windows Insiders. So I'm sure that it will soon be rolling out and be ready. Fully functional, not like it currently is in stable, half-baked, but 
it'll be rolling out fully functional for all users, I would say, sooner than later. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.